this morning I'd like to welcome everyone to the house of the Lord Church of Philadelphia the Paul, the Paul Gospel Church so we're excited this morning hallelujah uh, please rise up as we open the service in prayer let's get excited this morning because we are serving a living God a great God amen hallelujah and uh, some in, uh, in Isaiah 25, 1, I'd like to read first. O Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you. I will praise you. I will praise your name. For you 
have done wonderful things. Your, your counsels of uh, all our, our faithfulness in truth. Church, we are here to, so, to exalt a living God. We are here to seek Him. We are here because we know we have a greater God. This morning is another privilege for us to thank our God because we're giving us another Friday to come together to honor Him, to praise Him, to glorify Him. Church, can you turn your side to your neighbor and say, I am blessed. Let's praise the Lord. And give a beautiful smile. The reason why we are here, we are here to get excited because we are serving a living God. We are here not to mourn, but to get excited because another Friday given to us with others has no privilege. So this morning, let's get excited and focus our mind onto the Lord as we open the service and prayer. Hallelujah, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Father God, you are the author and perfecter of our faith. You save us and sustain us. Help us to trust in you and to worship you. May our praise bring you glory and remind us of your promises. We love you, Lord. We seek your presence and we worship you alone. Father God, we come before you. We come before you today lying down our pride and arrogance and confess our need for you. We lay our needs at your feet and worship you alone. Lord, without you, we are nothing. Teach us how to worship you in all transparency. Fill us with your spirit as we open our mouth in praise to you. Lord, you have told us in your word that you hear our prayers. We are crying out to you. We are humbling ourselves before you and seeking your face. We come together as a church body to seek you. We repent and turn from our wicked ways. Thank you for hearing us. Thank you for forgiveness and healing. Father God, I live up to you this service this morning. Bless the music ministry, the media team, and all the pastors of Church of Philadelphia. Elders and deacons, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for their lives. Father God, may you bless them and let the anointing of the Holy Spirit be in the midst of us this morning, Lord. For you alone, O oh God. For you alone, Lord. Nothing else, O oh God. We thank you, Father God. We commit this service, Father God, unto you. Lord, we honor you. We worship you. This we pray in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Charles, let's get this. Let's get excited this morning as we praise the Lord. We are praising a living God. Let's praise the Lord this morning and let's get excited in His presence. Hallelujah. Let's praise the Lord. Amen. Great is the Lord, greatly to be praised. In the city of God, in His holy place. Oh, 
God of our joy. We bring you the fruit of our lips and remember the great things you did for us. Hey! Great is the Lord. Hallelujah, Lord of hosts, hear my delays. 
heavens in his hands Who made the stars by the word of his power Who put the spirit in man And causes all the earth to cry out glory Glory to the Lord, worship Him, the God of our salvation. Glory to the Lord, honor Him, He reigns, He rules the nations. He is righteous and worthy to be worshipped and adored. Lift your voice and still heavens in his hands who made the stars by the word of his power who put the spirit in mind causes all the earth to climb out glory glory to the Lord worship him the God of our salvation glory to the Lord Worshipped and adored, lift your voices and give glory to the Lord. Who holds the righteous by the hand? Who is the way in this marvelous hour? Glory to the Lord, worship Him, the God of our salvation. Glory to the Lord, honor Him, He reigns, He rules the nations. He is righteous and worthy to be worshipped and adored. Glory to Him, for the marriage of the Lamb has come, and His bride has made herself ready. Let us rejoice and be glad, in giving the glory to Him, for the marriage of the Lamb has come, and His bride has made herself ready. Hallelujah for the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. Hallelujah for the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. Hallelujah for the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. Hallelujah for the Lord our God, the Rejoice and be glad, giving the glory to Him, for the marriage of the Lamb has come, and His bride has made us at Let us rejoice and be glad, giving the glory to Him, for the marriage of the Lamb has come, and His bride has made us at Hallelujah for the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. Hallelujah for the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. Hallelujah for the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. Hallelujah for the Lord our God, the
Great is your faithfulness, O oh God. You wrestle with the sinner's restless heart. You lead me by still waters into the sea. And nothing can keep us apart. So of Sri Lanka for our God will bless this nation. There's nothing impossible if we ask in His name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us come to the subject of prayer. Church, we are called to pray for nations. It is our responsibility to pray for nations. As the Bible says in Revelation 5, 9, through his precious blood, Jesus was slain for all nations, tribes, language, and people. So we have to pray. And we must bring every nation to redemption through his precious blood. Let's remember Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka this time is facing a lot of challenges, political turmoil, economic crisis no proper leadership currency low currency no value we are facing a lot of difficulties this time and election is coming up and also false worship 
people are worshiping not knowing about the truth they worship idols they worship they do rituals we must bring this land to the hand of god bible says in psalm 67 2 every nation must knows about god ways about god's way every nation must know the ways of god and sri lanka must know the truth we are going to pray for the truth let everyone knows about jesus in this land hallelujah let us let us pray in tongues for a moment hora bashikala mandara bara bashakantura hori kuruma shankala mandara bara bashakala mandure rekhod bashakantara bashiki rekhod rabashangure mashata bara bashakala rakanture mashangura bashe dere re kala mash shakur mashangura hallelujah hallelujah heavenly father we come to your presence as a corporate body and we lift this nation sri lanka to your mighty hand father god father we need the healing for that land every people must know the truth you are the truth lord your mighty hand must work every place in this land father god father we know that we are facing a lot of challenges lord we knows that we are facing political turmoils we know lord that our crisis our we are facing financial crisis we know father we don't have a proper leader father it is in your hand father you are the god who's bringing people and put them in the in the authority father we pray that as we are going to face the election you bring the real people lord we also pray that every people must know about you father each and every corner four corners must know you are the real god they must know the truth father god lord i pray father god for the workers pray father god every servant that you have stationed every your pastors your servants must wake up now lord and they must bring salvation to sri lanka lord we pray father god that your mighty hand going to work lord i pray for the leaders i pray for the workers they must go and they must bring them to your mighty hand father god let everyone knows about your work father god as your word says father god every nation must knows your ways lord let sri lanka know about your way father god we pray a prayer of blessings to that land father god we pray that we will have the proper leaders from this country father god we pray that the economy will come back to the station father god we pray father god that your our people will know about you father god and they will come out from their false worship and they believe the truth father god we pray for the prayer of blessings to this land father god we pray father god that lord we are going to see the prosperity to this land and sri lanka is going to be healed in the name of our lord jesus we pray amen and amen thank you glory to god praise the lord we claim and we proclaim that sri lanka will restore the name of jesus hallelujah uh, we proceed to announcement and i turn microphone to pastor philip Welcome to each and everyone seated in this sanctuary and watching us online. Can we wave our hands and say His grace is enough, right? His grace. Can we put that line, sir? I want the congregation to sing. We, how many times did we sing that line? Can we sing it together? Because without the choir, let it be so real in our life. His grace is enough. Ah, no, you know the song. Ah, come on, come on, yes. For me. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Can we lift our hands and say, yes, His grace is enough. Hallelujah. Not just because the choir sang it, because His grace is enough. That's what Paul says. Hallelujah. He says, come boldly to the throne of grace so that you may find mercy and His goodness at the right time. Amen. So we are in the presence of God, enjoying the grace of God, so that we will be filled and we will be moving forward. 
uh, encountering every challenge by the grace of God. Amen. Once again, thank you for being here but quickly to the announcements. Church school registration, again, reminder that uh, you need uh, church school students to register three ages three and above. Also to collect your food packets uh, just after the service uh, so that uh, you get one uh, each uh, and that can be done uh, as quickly as possible. Saturday mornings we have a prayer from 10 to 1. Uh, Pastor Jacob is leading. We are, don't have an agenda but we come together and pray for topics that concern each one of us and especially the church and the times ahead. Okay. So next uh, Friday we have the Gideons International visiting us. Uh, their members will be visiting us and presenting us uh, with a presentation that's on how things are going ahead with the word of God being spread across the land of Bahrain. So take a note of that. Gideons International Bahrain will be with us uh, next uh, Friday. Uh, quick short presentation on what they are doing and how they are reaching out to the uh, people in the land of Bahrain and elsewhere. Uh, I want your p attention very carefully. Uh, last uh, Sunday when I was walking into the church for my cell group congregation, the watchman caught me up in the, uh, before I entered the gate over here. And he said, last Friday, there was blockage all over the place. And he had to call out five different language groups to get one car out. So please, humbly requesting you not to park your cars and block the way. And not only that, he gave me a sermon also. And he said that uh, when I told him to remove the car, he told me, you do not know who I am and where I work. Please. We are not holy in this place alone. We are holy when we go out also. Even if somebody says, move your car, it is, should be our manners to remove the car and put it in another place because we serve a living God. If anybody who is sick and cannot walk, pastors are here, we will pray for you so that you, know, you can walk that extra mile. But please, and last time another incident happened where the neighbor took, came out of their house and took a video. There was a car right next parked just in front of their gate. And he took a video. We do not know what that video will do but that's in recording. So please, don't, especially on Fridays, don't block the ways over here. And the neighbors are parking and some people are taking the slots of the neighbors also. Sorry I have to say this, but before I hear the sermon, I have got a sermon from the watchman next door. So please, kindly refrain from blocking the cars and make sure that you're not obstructing. We do not have a, that's not a parking place, that's a way. If the municipality or the government takes action, then we, the administration and the church, will have to be responsible and we will have to say what we are doing about it. So please, kindly, humbly requesting you, all the congregation, please pass on this message to all the congregation. Do not block the way and for the neighbors to take out their cars. I know how toiling and how difficult it is for five persons' car to be removed on a Friday from that lot so that the guy next door can take a car out. So he was literally catching me and telling me this. Maybe somebody told me that I'm also a pastor of this church. So please humbly requesting you, don't let us not create an obstacle for others when we worship here comfortably. Amen. Can we raise our hands and say, thank you, Lord Jesus. I will obey your word. Amen. All right. So quickly, uh, we have a few people who are sick in the church. George Pablo is sick uh, for the last one week I came to know and also the kids are writing their 10th and 12th exams from next week I guess so before we call out the birthdays and the wedding anniversaries anything anybody new uh, anybody new with us anybody new fellowshipping with us this morning please rise to your feet we want to pray for you thank you sister please remain standing can you put our hands together and welcome our sister Thank you. Remain standing, please. Anybody else celebrating their birthdays and wedding anniversaries? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you. 
and all the kids who are present here who are writing 10th and 12th exams. Anybody here? Amen. Thank you. As the children go for their exams, we need to have them, uphold them in our prayers. Amen. Okay, let's close our eyes. Thank the Lord for the precious life that you have given. And also thank for the newcomer of this church. As nobody comes to his presence accidentally. With a divine appointment, that sister has come into this sanctuary. So the Spirit of God, let her move in a mighty way in our hearts and minds. So she can be touched and transform and go rejoicing from this place. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father in heaven, we just thank you and we praise you for all that you have done in our lives. As we are interceding and praying for the newcomers, the ones who are celebrating their birthdays and wedding anniversaries, and also for the children who are writing their board exam 10th and 12th. Father, we submit this in your mighty big hands. The Bible says in Numbers chapter 6, The Lord bless you and keep you and make his face shine upon you and let his face turn towards you so that he can show his love and kindness in every area of your life. Father, this morning we summit the sister who has come first time to this church. I pray that, Father, the hearts will be renewed, heart will be renewed and mind will be Father, concentrating on you. And whatever, if there is a burden, there is an ache, a challenge in her life, let that be, Father, answered this morning as she is sitting in your presence. Thank you, Lord. We bless her. We pray for the ones who are celebrating their birthdays and wedding anniversaries. I pray, Lord Jesus, that, Father, yes, Lord, bless you and keep you and make his face throughout this next year shine upon you. And always the Lord turns his face towards you whenever you face a challenge. Father, thank you. Also the ones that are writing the 10th and the 12th board exams. The word of God says, children are taught by thy Lord. Father, they must have uh, studied all the portions. But Father, bring into remembrance, even the memory power. Father, and the fear of the exam should go out. And I pray, Lord Jesus, the peace that passes all understanding, reign and rule in their hearts and minds so that they can comfortably, peacefully write the exam. Thank you once again. We give all the glory and praises to you. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Thank you. You may be seated. Praise God. We come into the time of worship. We have to worship the Lord in our giving. As uh, God bless us mightily in our finances and health, this time we'll be worshiping Him through our giving. Let's pray. Hallelujah, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Father God, we live up to you today this offering. Bless this tithes and offering, O oh God, as a gift and sacrifice to honor you, O oh God. And we believe that, Lord, that you will bless us, blessing everyone, the business, the work, the health, especially, Lord. We thank you for the good health that you're giving to all of us. Today, Father God, bless the hands who give and those who cannot give. And thank you, Lord, because you're always faithful in us. Thank you, Father God, because we have a God of abundance who provide us everything, O oh Lord, in our, as we believe in you. Lord God, today, I up to you the person who handled this. Lord, bless him. <coughs> may, Lord, that whatever we collected, Father God, he may use this for the furtherance of your kingdom. We thank you and honor you, Father God. This we pray in Christ Jesus' name. Amen and amen.
Psalm 86, 9 to 10. As I read, All nations whom you have made shall come and worship before you, O Lord, and shall glorify your name. For you are great 
and do wondrous things. You alone are God. Church, we are worshiping a true living God. A God that is our hope. Remember, the three great friends in the Bible character that did not bow down to the goddess of earth, but they believed in one greater God. When Sidrach, Meshach, and Abednego was tested by King Nebuchadnezzar, he did not bow down. This is the same God that we are worshiping, church. Whatever we have, what, what, whatever we are facing right now, if we believe in Him, everything will be in proper order because we believe in a true God. This time, let's call upon Him. Let's believe in Him because He is a great God. He's a God who always in us. Let's worship Him because of who He is in our life. Church, let's focus our mind unto Him, our heart unto Him. Let's worship Him because He is alive. He is alive forevermore. And His name is Jesus Christ. His name is Jesus. Let's claim it. In the name of Jesus that we worship today, it's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Father God, we will worship you this morning. We do believe, Lord, you, there is no other name. There's no other, higher name except you, O God. We thank you, Lord. Lord, speak to us. Speak to us this morning, Lord, as we worship you. Hallelujah, Lord. Let's worship him. Let's worship him.
counselor, he's counselor, he's mighty God, he's mighty God, he's the prince of peace, he's the prince of peace, the omnipotent, he is wonderful, he is wonderful, he is radiant, he is radiant, the almighty. above all names, the Prince of Peace, the Counselor, the Wonderful One. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your name, Lord Jesus. Thank you for the power and the authority you have given us in that name, Lord Jesus. Let's worship him, lift up our hands, praise him for who he really is, and give him honor and glory in this place. Worship you, Lord Jesus. Yahweh, Yahweh, we love to 
Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God. We bless your name. We bless your name, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. the world. Rama Kishi Rabala Rashanda Ramoka Rabala Rashadrika. You call me counselor, almighty God, and a wonderful counselor. Then why don't you believe me? Every situation you go through, you are tossed between doubt and belief. You are called by my name and you are a believer. When you are a believer, you must believe what I accomplished for you. Mara Mala, rather, my healing virtue is here. People are having any sickness in this body, in your body, God is touching you. And the strongholds of the enemy is getting broken now. Lama Rikara Mala Rashanda Rogora. When you go out again, the enemy comes and captures your mind. You must rebuke it with your mouth and with the word so that. It will flee from you. The authority and power, what you have, you must use it. You should not be tossed between a doubt and belief. Then you cannot receive anything. The healing of any, from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, the Lord is touching. And then he quickens all your organs. Whatever malfunctioning is doing in your body, God is telling, yes, be healed. Be healed, he says. Receive his healing. The problems you face at your office. There's some, some, some people have not received your salary. The Lord is telling, yes, I am the one who Jehovah Jireh who will be providing you and you will open a new door when one door is closed. Oh, you must believe according to your faith it shall be done. You will be seeing that you will be victorious. I have done everything for you on the cross. Do not allow the doubt come into your mind so that you will be tossed between these two. My Lord says, yes, believe to receive. The choice is yours. Thank you, Lord. Father God, thank you for the prophetic word that we heard this morning. Father God, we also, Lord, thank you for your mighty presence in the midst of us. Thank you for accepting our praise and worship. Thank you, Lord, for the Holy Spirit that uh, in the midst of us right now, Lord. Lord, as I live up to you, our servant, Pastor Jacob, into your mighty hand, let the anointing of the Holy Spirit be upon him, O God. Thank you, Father God, uh, for his life. Lord, thank you for the word that we are about to hear. Let the word penetrate in our heart that we may use it, Lord, for our daily, daily living, Father God. We thank you and we praise you as we pray in Christ Jesus' name. Please have, have a seat. Uh, before I call Pastor Jacob, may I call on uh, uh, Anna Thomas to, for the reading of the scripture. Praise the Lord. Today's scripture reading is from Second Chronicles chapter 32, verses 24 to 33. Second Chronicles chapter 32, verses 24 to 33. In those days, Hezekiah was sick and near death, and he prayed to the Lord, and he spoke to him and gave him a sign. But Hezekiah did not repay according to the favor shown him, for his heart was lifted up. Therefore, wrath was looming over him and over Judah and Jerusalem. Then Hezekiah humbled himself for the pride of his heart, he and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, so that the wrath of the Lord did not come upon them in the days of Hezekiah. 
Hezekiah had very great riches and honor, and he made himself treasuries for silver, for gold, for precious stones, for spices, for shields, and for all kinds of desirable items, storehouses for the harvest of grain, wine, and oil, and stalls for all kinds of livestock, and folds for flocks. Moreover, he provided cities for himself and possessions of flocks and herds in abundance, for God had given him very much property. The same Hezekiah also stopped the waters, uh, water outlet up, of Upper Gihon and brought the water tun by tunnel to the west side of the city. By David, Hezekiah prospered in all his works. However, regarding the ambassadors of the princes of Babylon, whom they sent to him to inquire about the wonder that was done in the land, God withdrew from him in order to test him, that he might know all that was in his heart. Now the rest of the acts of Hezekiah and his goodness, indeed they are written in the vision of Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, and in the book of the kings of Judah and Israel. So Hezekiah rested with his fathers, and they buried him in the upper tombs of the sons of David. And all Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem honored him at his death. Then Manasseh, his son, reigned in his place. May God add some blessings to the scripture. Amen. May I turn to Pastor Jacob for his word. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I greet you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We are singing a song. Praising song, last last praising song. What was the last praising song? Yeah, correct. Eh? Your grace is enough. Our secretary, Pastor Philip, was repeating that song. While that uh, repetition come, one question came to me. I want to share with you. Your grace is enough. Your grace is enough. For what? To whatever we like? Moses brought law. Bible teaches in New Covenant, Jesus Christ brought truth and grace. Grace is given for us, for the children of God, to keep the truth in our life. I hope you understand. Don't use the grace vainly. Grace is come, as we sang, as you heard that, for us, overcoming. Grace is given. Normally we say grace, definition of grace, what we say? Unmerited favor. That is wrong. <laughs> grace is given to overcome the sin. Grace is given to overcome the sin, to keep the truth. The way, the truth, and the life to keep in our life. That is what grace has given. Jesus, the word become flesh. That 14th words of John chapter 1, what did it say? Full of grace. In the last it is say, he is full of grace and truth. He is full of grace and truth. You understand? To keep that truth in our life, we need grace. Without that, we cannot. That is why, hallelujah. The truth is covered with a grace. That is the way we keep truth in our life. This is, for, this is what we call for. May the God help you, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Last week we were looking into the Ezekiel, looking, hallelujah. he is seeking God, hallelujah. Seeking God. What is the meaning of seeking God? Seeking God 
in my language, I can say in my words, seeking God to knowing His will. Knowing His will. As we seek, see, when we look into the uh, Ezekiel, King Ezekiel's life more. Uh, uh, last week I didn't get time. Uh, so see, when you look into that man, I was, uh, I was thinking, what? What could make him be strong to take such a decision? He born from a very wicked king of Judea. You know, is about his father. Is one of the most wicked king who ruled on Judea. His son becomes seeking God. What a wonderful thing! What it teach to us? Hallelujah! Look into that uh, 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 Second uh, Chronicles chapter twenty-eight, verse twenty-two. Uh, Second Chronicle chapter 28, verse 22. Yes, it is there. Okay. And it, in the time of his distress, did he uh, trespass at more against the Lord? This is the king Ahaz. This is the king Ahaz. What? Uh, he, in, uh, in the New, uh, New King James Version, he, uh, the King Hahas become increasingly unfaithful to the Lord. This is the King uh, Ahas. Unfaithful to the Lord. You understand? Such a man, you go on reading that? Hallelujah. He, hallelujah, what all things he was, he closed the hallelujah to the hallelujah, temple of God, hallelujah. He bring all the wickedness. He was having hallelujah to the, worshipping in the, 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 the mountain top to the, 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 the idols. He was doing all the wicked things. In that time, <coughs> Ezekiel become 25 years old, he become the king. And we, last week, we were looking into some of the things. First thing he did, against what his father did, he opened the temple. He gave preference to the sacrifice and worship. You understand something? Even our surroundings, even our friends, even our father or mother, even our influenced people will come and destroy us. Hallelujah. Our faith. We can stand for God. Hallelujah. That is what Hasekiah teaches. Anybody is hallelujah, having a difficulty to stand for the Lord Jesus Christ today. Here in this place, this word is teaching you. Hasekiah is talking to you. Encouraging you to stand for God. Not only just coming to the church. To stop doing the hallelujah of the people who are surround us. Stop doing the hallelujah children who are hallelujah, the friends who are with, uh, with you. All wicked things is happening all over the world. The two things, the last days, one is hallelujah, sexual or unfaithful life in families, in children. That is why always I am telling again and again, we and our children, as we seek God and know His will and follow Him with His strength, that is why grace has given. Your grace is mine. When we face the temptation, when we face problem, 
when we cannot avoid halli todra halli laptop or halli mobile or halli medias halli whatever halli influencing us that time we have to sing this song not here your grace says in us halli practice it i am not a perfect man i practice and i am standing here and telling i have sin in my life i have halli todra no i practice it sing that song overcome the sin stop halli doing the things when you are alone when people are influencing you that is where grace we can sing grace is enough for me hallelujah so oh, look at that man who experienced the grace of god to keep the truth in his life as here king his father was doing wicked things hallelujah i noticed hallelujah after last friday i find out some of the things in yeah uh, more about uh, ezekiah it is written in second kings second kings hallelujah i'm going to bring your attention for one thing hallelujah that is uh, 18th chapter uh, second kings 18th chapter it also start there about as king ezekiah and when he comes the word says and he did that which was right in the sight of the lord which is pleasing to god which when god looks when god knows when god hallelujah hallelujah uh, prayed in the hearts of ezekiah god will not say anything against him hallelujah that is the meaning of that in the sight of the lord according to all that david his father did hallelujah what mean to pleasing god hallelujah i want to bring your attention what david did more than that something he did that is what i want to bring into your attention the uh, uh, fourth words hallelujah he removed the high places and all mountain stop idol worship is going on there in judea because of his father now he removed very difficult don't think these things are easy even a king whole nation is after something such a thing bring it action it is not a easy thing how could he get that courage he moved the he removed the high places and break the images uh, look at that cut down the roofs and break the pieces of bronze serpent when it started to worshiping the serpent eh when it started worshiping the uh, uh, bronze serpent eh yeah when the uh, among the israelites serpent was biting and all there was so many deaths that then god told god god instructed to moses to make a serpent who ever look into that that was a shadow of jesus christ who rose in the calvary it was a shadow what happened after uh, the time of even moses they start to worship hallelujah now christ uh, image people are making christ image cross mary 
saints, whatever you can name it. Are you a worshiper? This is the question. Are you start early a, uh, uh, what do you call that candle, eh? Eh? blowing the candle and worshiping? Anybody sitting here? Worshipping any idols, not only that, anything else, keeping in your hearts, except Christ Jesus. That is idol. You are still, you are having the idol worship in the mountain top. Hallelujah. What is in your top priority? What is, hallelujah, do you doing? That is the mountain top, hallelujah. What you are doing? Now look at this man, 700 years from Moses. And nobody could hallelujah, stop this practice. All hallelujah, adjust with that. Hallelujah. Even Moses, even Samuel, even hallelujah, David. That is why I told you, more than David, he pleased God. That is what I understand. Even hallelujah, hallelujah David cannot remove these things. That time, in David's time, in Samuel's time, in Moses' time, it was going on. But he removed. Dear brothers and sisters, I am telling you, Hallelujah. If your forefathers, if your family, if your friends, if your close one, if even your church or ch any church members, even your pastors, doing against the word of God, I will worship. Remove it. Remove it from your life. That is, that is what grace is given. Hallelujah. Grace. Thank you for that, selecting that song. Grace is enough for me to removing these things. Hallelujah. Now, how many of you here to sing that song? Not for laughing. I say something for laughing or remembering, but this is for our benefit to grow. Now we can, shall we sing that song? that there be a deliverance any area I believe I can go down huh? you are with your media permission today is a day of deliverance today is a day of deliverance if God sets it will happen if we we I am also included we are willing to remove. We are willing to break. We are willing to take a decision. Whatever it cost, I will stop. I will stop it. Hallelujah. It is difficult. Stop it. Hallelujah. It, your mobile troubling you, stop it. Is your WhatsApp? Okay. Run away from that. As Joseph did. Hallelujah. If your friends, hallelujah. I'm telling you, hallelujah. I know one testimony I heard in hallelujah from uh, uh, my, my country, my state's capital. Hallelujah. One undersecretary next to this hallelujah, minister of that state. He was having a good position. He, hallelujah. Yes, nearby his ministry is having his villa, every facilities, everything. In that time, one day his wife, this is for good, I think, to live this. One day his wife came to his office to visit him. Sometimes he comes. That day, while she was telling, his secretary came. It's a young lady. Nothing wrong. She was talking very friendly, everything earlier about the office matter. He went that day. 
When he came to, from the office, his wife told her, she doesn't like it. The way that secretary was talking to him and handling him. They have some discussion and that day. You know what happened? Are you listening? The next day morning, he went and put his resignation or transfer. He took a transfer from that town and win another state because they don't want Haldia, unpeaceful situation in the family. You understand what I'm telling? Haldia, leave it, throw it, destroy it. This is the way Haldia we take back. But the enemy captured. This is our theme this year. We will take back. We will take back. This is a Christian way of doing. Outside is complete opposite. Hallelujah. The way of Christ, way is totally different. So we want to take it back in our family. Any peace losing from the family, we want to bring it back. Don't come and clap here and have us in the pseudo satisfaction. Little time and going back and having same thing. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Somebody said hallelujah. This is uh, a treadmill. Treadmill worship. You know treadmill worship? Eh? Treadmill hallelujah. When we are going to treadmill hallelujah, we will say it, we will have something. Everything is there, but yet down in the same place. No change. Not moving. Not going forward. Hallelujah. No. Our worship should not be. One praising. Hallelujah, Lord. That itself how to bring to our system and give change. One hallelujah is enough. Hallelujah. 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 We are going to take it back something. Hallelujah. I want to pray. Touch and pray some of you. You are losing. You are losing every year. This is the last year if you allow. If you allow. This is the last year to losing your peace. Your joy. Your satisfaction. This is the last year. Shall we stand and sing that song? Shall we stand and sing that song? Your grace is enough for me to take it back. Hallelujah. That is what we are seeking you, Lord. Hallelujah. When we sang this song, hallelujah, let that be in the, in the heart of everyone. Hallelujah. We are going to sing and hallelujah. We will have it back. Hallelujah. The things we lose in our family, things we lose in our life, hallelujah. Things we lose in our children's life, hallelujah. Let it happen in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. With a strong decision, we will take it back. Hallelujah. Your grace is enough. Great is your faithfulness, O oh God. Lord. You wrestle with the sinner's restless heart. You are to you. You lead me by still waters into mercy And nothing can keep us apart 
things God who prays this this year in my heart do it for us oh master do it each one of us you are a compassionate God you are a merciful God which area we struggle your grace is enough for Which area, spiritually, mentally, physically, financially, any area, let your grace be abundant. You are full of grace and truth. Let it reveal it today. Let it reveal it today as I pray. Let the children receive it. Let your children receive it. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Master. We thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, Amen. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Believe it. 2 Kings chapter 18 verse 5 says He trusted in the Lord God of Israel so that after him was no one like him among the all kings of Judea nor any that were before him hallelujah after Solomon he Ezekiah is a king who ruled such a way hallelujah he trusted in the lord let us trust in the lord is enough for us hallelujah once again i'm telling you this is not our good work this is not our purity this is our humbleness this is our desire this is our trust in the god almighty his sovereignty he can do anything let him do it in my life oh lord that attitude that brings a change hallelujah if we willing to that we are going to see that the coming days amen amen hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. One thing I bring to your attention. You understand. The second thing I want to bring to your attention is, one more thing I will bring to your attention. What has happened in Ezekiel's life? He restore. He bring back all the people together for repentance. that is what we read uh, last week we are uh, some of the words we are reading from the uh, 29 chapter of second chronicles 30 and 31 when you come to the 32 chapter 
Hallelujah. The first thing, our change in our life. That is what God looks. Second, what we face with our enemy, God will take care. That is what Saint Harib, king of Assyria, it was the greatest king, kingdom in that time. That like, now like America and all. King of Assyr uh, Assyria, Saint Harib, he came against him. He captured Israel earlier, and he came to Judea. He was earlier, abusing words against the Lord of Israel. Lord of Israel or King Ezekiah cannot help you people. Believe in me. I am stronger and I am coming. This was a message. Yeah, there is no time to take all these things out. That is why I'm saying. What happened? Early? Second Chronicles chapter 32, verse 20. 20. Second Chronicles chapter 32, verse 20. We read now from 24 onwards, 20, we can see 20 to 23, there is the great work against the enemy God is doing earlier. That is what. Now because of the king Ezekiel and the prophet Isaiah, the son of Amos, prayed and cried out to heaven. The second prayer, I told you three prayers. Last prayer, two in one. Eh? One prayer and two miracles, hallelujah, happening in last. He is healing and hallelujah. That hallelujah, that earth is hallelujah. Going backward, hallelujah. That is the greatest miracle is happening. In Joshua's time, it was standstill, but it is reversed, hallelujah. In hallelujah, King Ezekiel's time, that is a, a two miracle last prayer. Three greatest prayer. This is the second prayer is when Hallelujah is abusing against children of God and the God of Israel. Who? The king of Assyria. Uh, Saint Harib. He prayed. He cried before God. And what happened? You all know. You all know about that. One angel. One angel. Tell somebody, one angel killed how many people? Eh? Not ordinary people. They are soldiers, captain, commander, strong men. One angel killed 185,000 people. Never ever it happened. But that day, God did for his enemy. Hallelujah. God, hallelujah. Who seek God, who pray to God, who know, who want to know his will and move forward. See how God is doing. Hallelujah. Are you in worry about your enemy? About your problem? You settle the things as I told you. His grace, you ask his grace and come. Protect your truth in the grace. If you are ready for that, God is going to take care of your hallelujah. Whatever coming to on, on your way, what enemy, how strong, nobody can stop. But God intervene and stop it. Hallelujah. We can experience that. Hallelujah. We can. Hallelujah. 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 When I am telling, I am again and again, hallelujah. I am not waiting for the next words. I am thinking something happened in my life. Hallelujah. What is not happened normally? Hallelujah. God did it. God did it. God did it. He is no, not looking to 
somebody is married or anything, but is looking to the heart. If today's decision is earlier, strong, God please on that. What you sang, God please on that. I'm telling you whatever your problem today, whatever enmity, whatever enmity you are facing today, whatever need you are facing today, to survive, to keep that truth. I'm telling you, God is enough. More than enough who destroy the, the strongest army of Assyria is still the same, is still the t- same, and is able to destroy what is entering in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is what I want to tell you. Hallelujah. The third prayer. After that, I will come to the point. Today's message. Hallelujah. The third prayer is coming to Hallelujah. 24th verse. You heard that. Hallelujah. As a, as a, as a yeah, king, as, uh, as a king became sick. The Lord told, settle your things. Who told? God told, settle your things. He prayed. I think that other two prayer was okay with God. This prayer was not okay. That is what I understand. <laughs> There is a time for everyone that is deserved by God. If you are not with God, that may be not good. God may be answered, but it not be good for us. That is what the third prayer shows. What happened, you know? Very quick, I will tell you. How many years you got? Huh? Fifteen years. His son Manashe was the nest king. He born on, he born, he produced in this period. Manashe was produced on that 15 years of period. You go and study about Manashe. Manashe was like his grandfather. You want to live more? To do the wicked thing in this world? To produce wicked generation? Or you want to live in this world to, 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 to cooperate with the wicked things? Let God's will be done. Hallelujah. This is not the duration for the life. How we lived here. Hallelujah. 120 years, okay, if God gives, hallelujah, live. If it is 40 days, yes, let hallelujah. Our Lord lived how many years? 33 and a half years. <laughs> Your whole face is gone, hallelujah. Happiness is gone. What this pastor is telling, hallelujah. That is what is the truth. Okay. If I want to live today, Tomorrow is not for me. I am happy. I am telling you, I am happy. I didn't go and see my children's place in Canada. No problem for me. And not after that. If it is today, his will, that is better for me. That is, that is accepting his sovereignty. That is something great, dear brothers and sisters. I think from your face I understand. You are not accepted these things. Hallelujah. I want to leave <laughs> and do whatever things I can do it here. I want to finish it. Hallelujah. I am not telling you tomorrow, today, you live and die. No. 
that is not the meaning that is not the meaning is god's plan are you willing to come to god's plan is sovereignty come down whatever it happened to me hallelujah you know what happened to uh, james in the end days the uh, the disciple eh? they killed you keep this picture don't uh, don't go the, the uh, see james is strong and living for christ and one day caught it and cut this picture don't 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 leave the picture eh picture has to be in your heart see peter they caught it they put it in the jail and they want to kill the next day hallelujah what happened to peter eh escaped and next day in the in the meeting peter came and standing in the pulpit and god miraculously help me and hallelujah deliver me hallelujah hallelujah all the congregation was shouting and, and mrs james is sitting there not this james james mrs james is sitting there what what will go to his mind why god did it no no i never come to her she was enjoying with peter's wife god has given her that is called so accepting the sovereignty of god hallelujah 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 one hallelujah your junior one is hallelujah doing something great for the lord are you ready to accept it are you ready to encourage it are you ready to hallelujah so to hallelujah be with him if you are not you are not come under the sovereignty of God. this is simply you are telling what where is it eh uh, eh where is it yeah yeah, yeah yeah jesus is lord that is you are simply saying that is not real that is not real if jesus is lord i have no problem eh uh, i prepared that not automatically it is coming i prepared with the word of god this is a, this is a sign of the spirituality this is not the sign of the spirituality i am your pastor and telling you showing something here is the not the spirituality spirituality is accepting coming under the sovereignty of god and saying amen lord let my junior one come and minister let my hallelujah brother hallelujah go and all do the things i'm happy to know and receive it that is a sign of the spirituality mm. the 26 words then there is a here humbled himself for the pride of his heart eh what we are re- reading now eh did you read that portion this man from where you got his pride today's message as we get answer from god as our things god do in our life god surely test us do you understand message today as we receive things from god as we receive answer from god as god lives allow us to 
live in the greatest way. God will test us, not with outside anything, with your heart. God needs to know whether we are humble or not. Whether we are giving glory to him or not. Or we are taking glory ourselves. That is what God is testing each and every one. One testimony, one ministry we do, one singing you do, one holiday way you worship, hallelujah. In everything, are we taking glory? We, we do, we do, we do. We do sometimes. What happened to him? Very quick. The 27th verse. Ezekiah had very great riches, honor. He made himself treasuries of silver for gold, the precious stone and spices for uh, shields and for all kinds of desirable items. Earlier, immeasurable things he had earlier. When God blesses, hallelujah, I know people, I am the 50, 50th year here in Bahrain. I know people after I came, after God bless, they prosper. They came here without a job, without vehicle, without good dress, without good eating, all these things. After, as pastors, now they are asking who I am, you know? This is the mark of the devil. It's the mark of the devil. When people came to appreciate King Ezekiel, he took the glory. Oh, Ezekiel, you are wonderful. See, with your small prayer, see it, that holy art worst never happened. In Yosha could, could not do that. You did it. He take the glory. He take the glory. Yeah? That, uh, 31 verse? 31 verse? However, regarding the, regarding the ambassadors of the princess Babylon, Babylonians, they came. You know about that? Hallelujah. Everything is show. Hallelujah. What, what all he uh, accumulated, what all he had, what all miracle he did, what all prayer. Hallelujah. And said, how hallelujah. Assyrians came and hallelujah. Defeated and gone. Hallelujah. God, hallelujah. With my prayer, hallelujah. He, uh, he went to his hallelujah. Hey, you have to study that. Eh? Assyrian king, how he, uh, how he died. With his children killed him. In front of the high idol, in the temple inside. This is what happened to the enemy who abused God of Israel. Hallelujah. That is why God is telling you are, if somebody is touching you, is touching my. Eh? Yeah. God will not leave. Such a God, our God, a great. But what we need, what we study, a man who seeks God and after God, he failed to humble himself. How much more I? This is my cry. This is my prayer. This is what I want to keep in my life in the future days. It should not happen to me. 
shall be bowed down before God. Shall be bowed down before God. God never ever. God teaches a prayer. What is the end of that prayer? God, eh? Kingdom, glory, majesty, everything belongs to you. I never take. I never take. I never take. When you are standing and telling, I did means you are taking the glory. When you are arguing and telling, I told you before, but I told you that is was correct. When you are telling, you are taking the glory. It came from you. If it is from God, give glory to God. If something you are hallelujah putting in the church, that is from God, give glory to God. If something you are doing in the ministry. Give glory to God. Never ever stand and say, I am. This is what God trusts. He would know his heart inside. This is the God whom we serve. Such a godly man. After Solomon's times, never ever Israel found a man like this. But he has done mistake. Let us humble before God. Let us humble before God. God is great. He is great. Giving glory, honor and praise to you. Not only for the words, but every action, every movement, every step we take, shall we stand in the presence of God to pray. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Pastor, can you please pray? Thank you. Most gracious, loving Father, we thank you, Lord, for this very morning that you have given us the life, the very bread that we breathe is because of your grace is sufficient for us. It's because of your grace. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this beautiful morning that we could come before your presence and that we could praise and worship you, Lord. Those who are here and even those who are listening to us online, we pray, Lord, they will be blessed upon hearing your word and what has been shared this morning. Help us, Lord, to humble ourselves and search our hearts if there is anything that is not from you, Lord, that we will leave behind and we reach out to your glory your mercy and grace. Father, thank you, Lord, for the praise and worship and the music team, the sound system. We thank you, Lord, for everyone who came, those who came for the very first time, those who are celebrating their birthdays, anniversaries, and whatever occasion in their life. Those who have come back from holidays and even those who are going on holidays and those who are going to answer the exams, and Father, whatever we are going to do this morning, Master, we acknowledge that you are in the midst of all these things. Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord, for even as we go from this place, that you have given us grace one more day to live in your presence. Father, if we could live for many years or just one day, it is your grace that we are going to live for. And Father, we thank you, Lord. And we commit today's remaining services into your hand. 
and all the services throughout the week. We pray for your grace and your peace and your presence be upon on every service in the heart of every preacher. Father, we thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name we pray. Now receive the benediction. May the love of God the Father, the grace and peace of Lord Jesus Christ, and sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you and go with you. And children of God say, Amen. Amen. Let's go with this song. Great is your faithfulness, O oh God.